Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Thursday, the 20th of June. As always, we begin with our service of light, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. And we're going to be singing our hymn throughout the, the service, uh, The King of Love My Shepherd Is, and we'll sing the first two verses now. The King of love my shepherd is, whose goodness faileth never. I nothing lack if I am his, and he is mine forever. Where streams of living water flow, my ransomed soul he leadeth, and where the burdened pastures grow with food celestial feedeth. Our psalm is a portion of Psalm 85, which we say together. Let me hear what the Lord God... Let me hear what God the Lord will speak. For he will speak peace to his people, to his faithful, to those who turn to him in their hearts. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground, and righteousness will look down from the sky. The Lord will give what is good and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him and will make a path for his steps. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now let us sing the next two verses of our hymn. Perverse and foolish oft I strayed, but yet in love he sought me, and on his shoulder gently he laid, and home rejoicing brought me. In death's dark veil I fear no ill, with thee, dear Lord, beside me. Thy rod and staff, my comfort still, thy cross before to guide me. Our Gospel is Matthew 18, 10 to 20. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, Take care that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I tell you, in heaven their angels continually see the face of my Father in heaven. What do you think? If a shepherd has a hundred sheep, and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountains and go in search of the one that went astray? And if he finds it, truly I tell you, he rejoices over it more than the ninety-nine that never went astray. So it is not the will of your Father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost. If another member of the church sins against you, go and point out the fault when the two of you are alone. If the member listens to you, you have regained that one. But if you are not listened to, take one or two others along with you, so that every word may be confirmed by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If the member refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if the offender refuses to listen even to the church, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly I tell you, if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. 
for where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we have the familiar story uh, of the Good Shepherd who leaves the 99 in the wilderness to go search for the one who is lost. And I, of course, this is a parable really about God's will and love for absolutely everyone. Um, those who are lost, those who are not lost. Um, I once heard a shepherd saying, that would be ridiculous if he was a shepherd. If I lost one, I would just stick with the 99 and let the one return or not. Um, so I think uh, we tend to think that way in human terms, but God's love is for absolutely everyone, the lost and the found. And so we have this wonderful story of the Good Shepherd. And then he goes on to talk about when someone sins against another member of the church. And he, he goes through all of these steps. Um, the very first step is just to talk face to face. Um, when we think about all the steps of what happens when people are affronted by another, usually they jump to, to step three and talk about it to everyone else rather than go going you know step by step speaking reasonably one-on-one um, -on -one, and then maybe two or three witnesses and then the wider church um, so Jesus is giving us ways to remain in relationship with each other even when someone sins against another someone offends the other uh, Jesus will is that we all be reconciled and that was Jesus whole life uh, was to give himself so that we can be reconciled to God but that means we ought to be reconciled with each other as well now he says if that person will not even listen to the church then let such a one be like a Gentile or a tax collector and what does that mean how did Jesus treat Gentiles and tax collectors well, this is the Gospel of Matthew, and Matthew himself was a tax collector called to be a disciple by Jesus. And also, how does he cheat, treat Gentiles? He went about teaching them, healing them, just like he did to his own people. So, even if the person doesn't listen to the church, they're still not to be thought of as completely lost. But it is God's will, as it is God's will shown in the, uh, the parable of the Good Shepherd, that no one be lost. God's love and God's desire for reconciliation is for everyone. Let us sing the next verse of our hymn. Thou spreadst a table in my sight, Thy unction grace bestoweth, and oh, a transport of delight from thy pure chalice floweth. And now let us say together the words of the hero Israel. Hero Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul with all your mind and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. In our prayers today, when I say Lord in your mercy, please respond with hear our prayer. Creator God, we pray that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world, and especially we pray for the people of the Middle East, Israel, Gaza, and many other places in the Middle East, people of Ukraine, the people of Sudan, we pray for world leaders, and we pray for all peoples um, work for peace wherever they are. We pray for the victims of war and violence. Help them to know your spirit with them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That we may depart this life in your faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit 
in the communion of St. Luke, St. Matthew, and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for the sick, those known to us, those unknown to us. In our cycle of prayer for the sick in the parish, today we pray for Carlos Nuri, Maureen Haddon, Veronica Richards-Miller, Eric Moore, Jason, Michael Clark, Bill Graham and Stephanie Martin, Elaine Hopkins, Hal Brooks, Charlotte, Vera, Laura, Bev Alexander and his three daughters who are looking after him. We also pray for Marion Bins for success following surgery today. We pray, O oh Lord, for all the sick that they might know the healing touch of Jesus and have wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for some more uh, families on our parish list. Uh, today, we pray for David Perkin, Sylvain, Natalie, L Eliza, and Elizabeth Perron, Keith and Carolyn, Riley and Wyatt Phillips, Jim Pickworth, um, for my family, uh, Stuart and Catherine and Louisa Pike, for Stephen Pike and Jennifer Goodine, for Audrey Pilkington, for Martin and Karen Pinney, for Paul and Carol Pizzolanti, for Reverend Sheila Plant, and for Wendy Pollard. We pray for each one, O oh Lord. We pray for them in all that they are doing. We pray, O oh Lord, that they might be um, able to feel a part of your church wherever they are, a member of your kingdom, and that they might be giving of themselves in their work and their play in the service of your kingdom, and that they might know that they belong to a church community that cares and prays for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for some more dioceses in the Anglican Communion. Today we pray for the Diocese of Gambia in the Church of the Province of West Africa, the Diocese of Garissa in the Anglican Church of Kenya, the Diocese of Gasabo in the Anglican Church of Rwanda, and the Diocese of Guboko in the Church of Nigeria. We pray for their bishops, clergy, and people. We pray for them in um, all of the challenges that they might face. We pray that they might have the resources to carry out the work of the kingdom in their place. And we pray that they might be encouraged knowing that the world is praying for them at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for another brother of the Society of St. John the Evangelist. Today we pray for Brother Jeffrey Tristram. We give you thanks, O oh Lord, for him, for his great commitment to the gospel and to the brothers. We give you thanks for his preaching and teaching. We pray for his health and well-being and happiness. We pray that your grace might continue to flow richly through him. And we pray that he might know he is supported in prayer not only by his brothers, but also by us and a wider community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now let us pray our night prayer from the Anglican Church of New Zealand. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And we pray our collect for this week. Keep, O Lord, your household, the church, in your steadfast faith and love that through your grace we may proclaim your truth with boldness and minister your justice with compassion. 
for the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now let us sing the last verse of our hymn. And so through all the length of days Thy goodness faileth never Good Shepherd, may I sing Thy praise Within Thy house forever Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us in evening prayer tonight. I hope you'll be able to join us either in person or online uh, for our service on Sunday, uh, in person at 8, 15, and 10, and the 10 o'clock is live streamed and also saved for later viewing as well. Saturday, there's a very special event, one of our 190th anniversary events. It's um, a, a strawberry social. Uh, Saturday here, hopefully weather permitting, uh, on the front lawn of the church at 1371 Elgin Street in Burlington. Uh, it's open to anyone, just a free will offering. It's, you do not have, there's no fee. Um, and it's strawberries and ice cream. There's events for the kids, face face painting and stuff. It should be a lovely event. So I hope you'll be able to uh, join us at that this Saturday between 2 and 4. Blessings to you and a good night's sleep.